What's up guys, it's Winter. Today I'm going to be showing you how to um, turn a ISO file into a .exe file using a couple of programs that you might need. Number one is Xbox 360 Backup Creator and the other one is ISO to God. Now the reason why you need Backup Creator is that ISO to God might not use one of them. Such as one, the game I'm going to be using, Need for Speed Underground 2. It has a .exe, not really an .exe file. I'll even show you. It has a .xbe file, which is strange. But yeah, they are two different. So if one doesn't work, you always have the other one. For example, one that does not work, I'm going to use ISO to God for this one. And you will, there will actually be a download link for both of these. And what you want to do is open up ISO to God. And do not worry about the XEX tool. I have no idea what that does. And it doesn't say. So you're best off to ignore it. Alright, here you go. ISO to God. And you want to hit Add ISO. And you hit Browse Location. Image location, you want to hit browse, and then here's the ISO Need for Speed Underground 2.ISO. You want to hit that and hit open. Reading XCX files. Okay, as you see, error reading title information. Cannot locate default.xcx or default.xbe, which is strange because if you go back just a few seconds ago, it has the uh, XPE and sometimes it won't do it so this must be an arcade game I don't I'm not quite sure but correct me if I'm wrong but you can also go to Xbox 360 backup creator to um, do this alright image file you want to hit image tools not hit image file you have both creator open image tool image browser you want to go to file open image file or fry because it spelled it wrong <laughs> and then you want to click this and hit open alright now you have ISO and you have everything now what you want to do is right click on the main the ISO right here if you extend all of that and, and get rid of all of that from where you just have this right click hit extract and you want to extract it into a folder and you hit OK but I'm not going to do it because I already did it okay and then here it is extracted files update stuff like that now to get it onto your RJH or JPEG I recommend doing um, Xbox 360 neighborhood that is wired with an Ethernet cable or you can put it on a big ass hard drive or flash drive and move it but I'm going to click JPEG I'm going to hit um, RD, RDD and I'm also going to go to my games file alright and then that way you, ever you extract your thing at you just want to move it over like here move it into your games folder and then let it do that I'm going to pause the video while it does that and I'll be right back okay so mid um, transfer it just kind of pooped on me and it just started to cancel out so I just gave up but when you do move it to your game folder and you run the um here I'll actually show you and you run the default.abx or abe whatever that shit is it should start up normally it should run the game but as of right now I have no clue because it just won't install well, Alright guys, um, thanks for watching. You didn't have to use Need for Speed. You can use any other game. This works for any ISO. But mostly, some games that you will download will be already formatted. But games that are not previously formatted to um, .xex, you can just do this. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like. And I'm sorry that it's been a while for an RGH video. But I'm going to get back into the swing of modding. And again... And get some free time. Summer's coming up. And we'll do as much as I can. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you all later.